Now, we will be taking a look at adding CSS and JavaScript resources to our application. The CSS-related portlet component properties include the following, com.liferay.portlet.header-portal.css, com.liferay.portlet.header-portlet-css, as well as two properties uh, for footers. They include multi-value support, and you'll find that the header and footer CSS files are injected respectively in the header and the footer. Uh, the main difference between portal-css and portlet-css is going to be the context path with which the former is set to portal and the latter to the portlet context. Also, com.liferay.portlet.css-class-wrapper adds a wrapper CSS class to the portlet. The CSS files are located in the meta-inf resources CSS folder, and files with the .scss suffix are sass compiled. However, they will be referenced in the properties with .css, which you can see in the following example. Under portlet component properties, you'll see that our file main.scss is referenced as main dot CSS. The JavaScript related portlet component properties look much like the CSS ones. However, with a dash JavaScript ending rather than dot CSS. The property values can be local paths or external URLs. If JavaScript files are hosted locally, they are by convention stored in the meta dash INF resources JS folder. While this approach for including JavaScript works in simple cases, there are limitations to it, especially when using third-party libraries. For example, scripts defined in the properties are loaded synchronously and they cannot be scoped or encapsulated. In more complex applications, it's generally recommended to use NPM-based approaches. When serving to JavaScript, the portlet JavaScript files are merged and minified at compile time and served through the combo servlet. You can see we have some file examples for the JavaScript, main1.js and main2.js, which are referenced in the component properties as such and lead to a generated HTML. Finally, the bundled single JavaScript file is as follows. When configuring the JavaScript portal properties, you'll be looking for properties with the following prefixes, JavaScript, minifier, and combo. When using JavaScript, it's important to know that jQuery, Alloy UI, and LifeRay JavaScript API are globally available. The LifeRay JavaScript object contains helpful tools like LifeRay.browser, which includes browser capabilities detection, liferay.theme display, which is a theme display object, liferay.service, which invokes liferay services, and liferay.language, which has to deal with localization. Here's an example of liferay.service in use. While Alloy UI and jQuery are globally available, the platform doesn't restrict you from using any other preferred library. Also, Support for ES2015, as well as MPM modules is available, as well as a configurable AMD loader. These topics are discussed in more detail in the Creating Custom Branding with Liferay DXP course, if you want to check that out.